नमस्कार एंड वेलकम सिंस लास्ट फ्यू लेक्चर्स वी हैव बीन डिस्कसिंग ऑन एनालिसिस ऑफ वेरिएंस पॉपुलरली नोन एज अनोवा वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वन वे क्लासिफिकेशन एज वेल एज टू वे क्लासिफिकेशन नाउ एट द एंड ऑफ डिस्कशन ऑन एनालिसिस ऑफ वेरिएंस और अनोवा लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट अ टॉपिक व्हिच इज हार्डली नोन टू एनीवन यस a very few people know about this thing hardly some teacher discuss about this thing but this is say a very important conclusion here we are going to compare the say concluding results of two different tests one is one way anova and another is t test for difference between two means now let's consider a specific or special kind of situation where say for the purpose of one way anova we have only two levels of independent variable though i have written the data in the form of rows it is advisable to consider this in the form of two columns but the important thing is for the purpose of one way anova we have only two levels of independent variable the same thing we consider as two independent samples for the purpose of t test small sample test for difference between two means now the concluding results of these two different test is in case of one way anova the concluding result is f ratio and the concluding result in case of t test for two say difference between two means is t statistic we ignore the other things relevant to the say testing of hypothesis now we know the process of testing of hypothesis very well in both the cases so we ignore we are going to compare the concluding results only f ratio for one way anova and t statistic for t test for difference between two means but the base is the data where for one way anova if we consider the data for one way anova there are only two levels yes at the cost of repetition i want to say that there are only two levels of independent variables and the same we are going to treat as two independent samples for t test of difference between two means now i am not going to discuss about the workings and steps of calculation as we have discussed it many a times say on the basis of these two say columns or rows x1 and x2 for one way anova we shall or we will have sigma x1 equals to 203 sigma x2 equals to 173 Sigma x1 square 5905, sigma x2 square equals to 4301. And let me clarify that I have obtained all these results without coding this data. I have not subtracted anything. I have taken all these values as they are. And on the basis of all these, we can calculate t and t square upon n and everything. But the final results are SST one hundred seven point seven, SSC sixty four point three, SSE forty three point four. How to calculate all these things that we have already discussed in our previous lectures on ANOVA one way classification. So I am not going to repeat them. Now let's prepare the ANOVA table for one way classification. Yes, the first source of variation is for columns. You can write rows if you consider these in row form. It is upon you now. For that, SSC is sixty-four point three. First degrees of freedom is number of columns minus one. That is two minus one one. On the basis of these two, we can calculate MSC, the mean sum of squares for columns. That is SSC upon first degrees of freedom, and that is sixty-four point three divided by one. That equals to sixty-four point three. Yes, this is MSC. And see in this kind of case comparison between F and T for two levels only, this will be always one. Please remember. 
Now for errors or residuals, SSE is 43.4, degrees of freedom is total number of elements minus number of columns that is 14 minus 2 12, 1 plus 12 13, the total should always be total number of elements minus 1 and it is SST, total of these two should be SST. But since we follow the shortcut method for one way classification, we always calculate SST first on the basis of the total of the squared values of all these elements which we have discussed in our previous lectures in detail. But ultimately now we have SSE and degrees of freedom number 2 on the basis of which we can calculate MSE that will be 43.4 that is SSE divided by 12. So this is MSC and this is MSE and MSE comes to 3.62. Yes, M S E comes to 3.62. Okay? Yeah. Now we can calculate F ratio for our one way ANOVA and that is MSC upon MSE 64.3 divided by 3.62 and F ratio comes to 17.76 if we maintain the two decimal places. Okay. Now I leave the whole process of testing of hypothesis on you. You can use this for the purpose of say testing of hypothesis about this data. But now let's go to the part 2. For t test of difference between two means, we can have for this data x bar 1 equals to 29 that is 203 divided by 7, x bar 2 equals to 24.71 that is 173 divided by 7 sigma x upon n. Yeah? S1 square equals to 3, S2 square equals to 4.24 approximately. On the basis of these two, yes, to calculate T statistic, we need to find out S cap square. Common variance for both the populations. This is nothing but the estimate or rather best estimate for population variance. The formula is S1 square into N1 minus 1 plus S2 square into N2 minus 1 divided by n1 plus n2 minus 2 and n1 plus n2 minus 2 is nothing it is degrees of freedom for the t test of difference between two means yes that will be 7 plus 7 minus 2 12 here if we substitute all the relevant data in this formula and go for simplification the ultimate result s cap square the best estimate of population variance come to 3.62 it is very much interesting to compare the values of two things. Yes. These two. They are equal. Okay. Now let's calculate T. T statistic equals to X1. Sorry X bar 1 minus X bar 2. Minus mu1 minus mu2. That is part of formula. But according to our null hypothesis of no difference between two population means. This value always comes to 0 upon under root s cap square upon n1 plus s cap square upon n2. Yes, you can also write s cap square into brackets 1 upon n1 plus 1 upon n2. But for the purpose of simplification, this formula is quite user friendly. Let's substitute the values. 29 minus 24.71 and as I told minus 0 because our null hypothesis is always be no difference between two population means that means it is always 0 upon 3.62 upon 7 plus 3.62 upon 7 if we simplify all these T comes to 4.218. Please mind well, I have left so much things upon you. All kinds of calculations I have left for you. Please find out all these things according to process. That will be a nice practice for you. Yes, 
but in this lecture i want to concentrate only on the main topic yes now let's find out t square and t square comes to 17.79 since we adjust the decimal values the decimal values in case of t square may be different for different persons but the interesting thing is f is approximately 17.76 and t square is 17.79 so we can conclude that t square equals to f yes but under special circumstances specific situation in specific situation only where there are only two levels of independent variables so far as one way and over is concerned yes one way only not two way and these are or these can be treated as two independent samples for the purpose of t test for difference between two means this always happens yes this always happens so if we have two independent samples or rather two independent small samples and we calculate t for that according to this process and if we find out f considering the data as two levels of independent variables for one way classification of anova then t square equals to f or t is always equal to square root of f ratio for one way or over as i have already told this is a very say this is not a commonly known topic even in most of the reference books the authors never discuss about this point you can hardly find out a reference book with a very small a very little discussion about this but as far as we are learning all the test of hypothesis i think it is important to discuss about the relationship between two different kinds of tests of hypothesis that's why i prefer to discuss on this topic i hope this has or rather this lecture say is useful to enrich your knowledge about the interrelationship between the two test different tests of hypothesis yes if you find this useful don't forget to like this video and also suggest this video in my youtube channel to your friends and if you have still not subscribed to my youtube channel and the name or title of my youtube channel is prshnt puwr please subscribe thank you very much